with him, please. Everybody probably knows the risk then, and if you want to take that risk, you know, you should do it. It's your own fault if you get hurt, I guess. Yeah, uh, I think there's probably like a tradition. It's a tradition, so I do get that people want to partake in that tradition. Yeah. But it seems incredibly dangerous to me. There's a lot of risks involved in that one. Um, I wouldn't because I wouldn't a subject anybody to my cycling <laughs> skills nowadays, but also to my yeah unclothed cycling skills. Let's put it that way. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't force anybody to watch that. <laughs> so, well, I'm interested in cycling. That's a really interesting sport. Um, the uniqueness of the sport in itself, perhaps, what, what I mean, the diversity of maybe it's, its change into the sort of um, unusual, I don't think so. Just, just the maintenance of health, that's my main interest, but that's it. I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a, a risk taker than, like I said, than your average person, so I wouldn't feel, you know, too scared of giving it a try. I feel like... Uh, yeah, it's, everyone's different though, you know, you can't sort of, I'm sure my girlfriend wouldn't do it or anything like that. And you uh, run from one end to the other, but everybody gets, everybody gets really, really muddy and wet. Would, would you get involved in that? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds like a loads of, lot of fun, you know? Okay. Going to the mud. Yeah, it's, it's fine because it's something different. And when you do something different, you find a sort of excitement in doing something different that not everybody does. So I would find a kind of excitement as, you know, being different and participating in something kind of unique.